happen to the world if COVID-19 is not contained. COVID-19 pandemic has been circulating across the globe for slightly less than two years with severe devastation. The pandemic has for sure changed the lives of the over 7 billion people who live on Earth. So far, it is estimated that over 250 million people have been infected worldwide. It is rather scary and hard to imagine a scenario where COVID-19 persists in the world for an indefinite period. The future of the COVID-19 pandemic will certainly depend on the strength and length of immunity of the virus. The future will also depend on the choices made by governments and the people. Experts foresee a scenario where the spread of the pandemic may at some point come to an end because enough people have been infected or vaccinated. But still, the virus will keep circulating in lower levels around the world. The virus will persist because vaccines will not completely eradicate but suppress the virus and as such human beings will probably live with the virus for the rest of their lives. Another possible scenario is when the virus may become endemic if it continues to circulate widely and cause rapid infections without people developing an enduring immunity. Although such a scenario is not unimaginable, it will cause a lot of havoc in the world. The virus may also induce short-term immunity, which means that then reinfections could occur with possibilities of annual outbreaks. Another scenario is when people develop permanent immunity to the COVID-19 virus, in which case there would be a possibility of the virus disappearing completely after a world-sweeping outbreak. Whichever the case, the COVID-19 pandemic will certainly change the way of life in the world. So, what will happen if the COVID-19 pandemic is not contained? If the pandemic persists for an indefinite period, then we expect to see a drastic increase in the number of infections and mortality cases. The COVID-19 pandemic will cause a severe crisis in both the health and economic sectors worldwide. The health infrastructure in most countries will be overstretched and may collapse, leading to the death of millions of people. Modeling studies of COVID-19 have shown that death as a result of the pandemic will be more acute in regions with older populations. Governments worldwide will have to make far-reaching changes in how they operate to address the challenges brought about by a persisting COVID-19 pandemic. There will certainly be a shift in priorities. The world has already witnessed a shift towards priorities geared to pulling the country's resources to cater to the pandemic. If the pandemic persists further, then governments worldwide will play a much bigger role as it develops policies and guidelines to combat the raging pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has already stretched to the limit the resources available to governments. A big chunk of the government budget will be directed towards combating COVID-19. Therefore, prioritizing COVID-19 measures can reduce the percentage of resources directed to combating other diseases such as AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria. The reduced attention given to these diseases will lead to suffering and death. The decline in economic activities will adversely affect the health status of populations. There is likely to be less money circulating when there is a reduction in economic activities and a drop in tax revenues. A drop in tax revenues means less money directed to public health countermeasures aimed at controlling the pandemic. The pandemic is expected to increase the financial burden on many people. Because of plummeting finances, companies and businesses will close down, leading to unemployment and suffering for families and individuals. Most people will be forced out of work and must endure a lot of financial hardships. The longer the pandemic persists, the more severe the hardships experienced will be. A persisting pandemic will mean that the measures for containment will be further enhanced. Self-isolation, closures of businesses, bans on sports and entertainment will be enhanced if even further. There will be complete shutdowns of theaters, galleries, bookshops, and music venues. The shutting down of such spaces will have a huge impact on creativity and talent. This will have far-reaching ramifications on the economic well-being of countries around the world. When the pandemic first struck China, industrial production and retail sectors dropped by about 13.5% and 21%, respectively. At the same time, the car sale and restaurant sector nearly collapsed, with 92% and 95% drops. Projections by economists indicated that the U.S. economy was expected to shrink by more than 20% by the middle of 2020. The persistence of the COVID-19 pandemic will see the extended restrictions and closures of national borders, airports, and seaports. These closures can interrupt the supply lines of goods and services and may cause shortages of essential goods in some countries. 
Shortages of essential goods and services can lead to disturbances or even civil disobedience in some places. However, the disruption of distribution and supply lines of goods and services could lead to robust domestic-based supply chains. The pandemic will completely curtail international travel, which will impact a lot of business. The COVID-19 pandemic has already restricted the way people interact. It is expected that with the persistence of the pandemic, social distancing will be the new normal. Social gatherings and especially large gatherings will be a thing of the past. The pandemic will force people to interact more in the digital space rather than physically. The COVID-19 pandemic has already underscored the extent to which digital interaction cannot be a substitute for physical interaction among people. The pandemic will have a huge emotional toll on many people. The isolation and loneliness occasioned by the pandemic will increase the number of people who suffer from anxiety and depression, people in abusive relationships, neglected and abused children. The COVID-19 pandemic has accustomed a lot of people to work from a remote place. A lot of workers are now working from home instead of going to their offices. Working from home and away from conventional offices will be the new normal. If the pandemic persists for a long time, then it means that more people will be working remotely, away from their usual workplaces. Working from home may mean that people have to revamp their homes to make them suitable for working conditions. Some people will have to turn some parts of their homes into offices. Most people will be working remotely using virtual devices. A persisting pandemic will accelerate the level of automation in many sectors of the economy. Robots will be increasingly used in workspaces to cut down on human interaction and thus limit the spread of the infection. Virtual reality technology in our daily lives will be a common phenomenon during the COVID-19 pandemic. Virtual reality technology will allow people to have experiences that they want even when isolated, quarantined, or alone. Because most people will be working remotely, virtual means of engagement such as video calls will increase drastically. There is a likelihood that public health care will be delivered remotely through virtual reality in the form of telemedicine. Education will, by and large, be delivered remotely using online platforms. Screening and showing of cinemas and other forms of arts will radically change. Movies and cinemas will be shown using digital applications, and as such, there will be few moviegoers patronizing cinema halls. To keep watching more cool facts, please subscribe to our channel now.